Welcome to <laughs> that was so bad. The way I am currently illegally parked to film this video, you better watch this vlog. You better. Welcome to Nova's Nation, the best nation in the world, according to who? According to me. Nobody told me how hard it was gonna be to vlog when A, you have nowhere to put your camera in your car, and then B, the sun is playing hide and seek. Hi guys, um, today we're spending a day together. We're gonna do some fun activities that you can do alone and on a budget. Because nobody has Beyonce level ticket concert type of thing speaking of fun tell me why when you type on google fun things to do alone and this girl tells you to clean the house for fun like let's be for real right now no you cannot trick me you cannot trick me the first thing we're doing is we're going to a pottery painting class or we're gonna paint some clay i don't know you'll see when we get there I know this is pretty pretty cool and pretty sleepy like but don't fall asleep on me and this was actually pretty fun and when I got there they told me I would have 90 minutes um, I had to choose a cup I chose this one and I thought it was gonna be easy but come to find out I have no artistic bones in my body so it wasn't that easy um if you know me you know blue is my favorite color so with this cup I kind of wanted to mix all of my family my chosen family close friends in the mug um so blue is my favorite color uh you're gonna see me use black pink and then what I thought was red um, to represent my close close friends group if you know you know and so what ended up happening is that i asked her for red and then she gave me some type of orange and she said she said that it's gonna get like darker and i trusted her but as you can see it looks very orange and she was too nice so i couldn't say anything but overall it was pretty fun pretty cool but i just suck at, like everything is out of the circles maybe i should go back to like school or something to learn how to play because this is embarrassing but as you can tell oh look at that black well not me but <laughs> but it was pretty cool don't look too close because if you look too close you're gonna see how bad it actually is but it was actually pretty cool i had really fun this is this is where i knew i effed up look at my face the twins but that was really fun that was really fun and peaceful and calm which i appreciate it my artistic skills are non-existent so if you're about to comment up about how bad it looked you better come prepare with your own receipt of how good yours looked since you got your degree and you know every fucking thing but it was fun it was really fun um i'm giving it a 9 out of 10. it would have been a 10 out of 10 if i knew how to paint or use a paintbrush <laughs> but let's go to the next location i'm already like almost late um it's one that i'm kind of excited about and you'll see when i get there <laughs> just losing for no reason but you will definitely like it if you're like you don't care about the competition and you just want to have fun it's definitely fun it's just not for me Al to do alone you know i feel like if i had my friends it'd be it'd be fun and competitive and some one of them would at least show me how to do it or if not we'd all suck together you know but in this specific case the staff weren't helpful but beside that it was you know what i'd do it again i'd give it a try again as long as i learn how to do how to operate a vr headset and all of that you know what yeah i'm gonna learn and then i'm gonna do it give it another try maybe next time
Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't eaten yet. We haven't bought anything to eat yet. We've only been drinking lime liquid def, the best flavor out there. That's all we've been doing all day, drinking lime and then eating gum. Chewing gum, actually. Not eating. We don't swallow that. Now, I'm going to have to find a place to eat so that... <sighs> Anxiety... <laughs> if I went to go get ice cream even though I'm freezing and I had to wear my coat which has makeup on all day and I've been complaining how cold it has been all day would it be a little risque if I went out to get ice cream I mean who's gonna punish me it's cold AF like it's cold but here I am after a long day of I don't know I don't know I was gonna say after a long and busy day, but it wasn't that busy. I was just enjoying myself. After a long day of fun, I'm rewarding myself for having fun alone with ice cream. I hate chocolate ice cream, chocolate cake, chocolate whatever. The only chocolate I eat is like chocolate bars. Chocolate as a man. <laughs> take that out. Take that out. It's a joke. It's a joke, people. It's a joke. Um, but no, yeah, the only chocolate I eat... <sighs> I can't, I can't get it off my head now. Mother, if you're watching this, it's all a joke. Wrap it up. Exit that way. Thank you. I'm getting back into the gym this Monday. This week, I didn't go to the gym at all because I had, uh, it was that time of the month. And I don't like working out when it's that time of the month. So, I often plan my cheat days when it's that time of the month. Because when it's that time of the month for real... I need everything that's not good for me. <laughs> Every single thing that's not good for me, that's when I need it. So if I've ever texted you after like us never talking for like five years, and then I text you during, like I randomly text you, just know that it's that time of the month and I just need toxicity. Please get the fuck out of here. No, like honestly, during that time of the month, like all I need is toxicity. Chocolate, fast food, every single thing, toxicity. Just because, like, I'm I'm already down bad. Might as well go da even more down, I guess. The other day, I was doing an interview for this article that someone was writing about me. Yes, I, I made it in life. People are writing articles about me. But yeah, I was in an interview, and she was asking, what is my biggest struggle, regret, uh, adjustment? I was like, yeah, all my friends that I really thought were going to be there with me until I die, I detach myself from them and they detach my themselves from me and it's like it just happened because we were no longer seeing each other every day mind you those people i should have seen them since i was like i don't know six so like i left when i was like i don't know 17 i don't know it's like it was like 10 plus years of friendships and we just like oops you know and nothing bad happened like i literally yesterday i called one of them and then we talked for like an hour and 30 minutes and i'm not a phone person so like that was very surprising so like we talked and it was very fun it was very cute but like i just started feeling very nostalgic and very like what if right what if because like those people are really like i don't i don't think i've ever loved any my new friends about to listen to this vlog but no those people like it's like 10 years of friendship and nothing toxic nothing bad ever happened and it's just like because of circumstances that we drifted apart circumstances such as political situations of a country or like searching for better opportunities you know what i mean like just happened and i guess since then those people, imagine going from seeing those people every single day to like readjusting to a new country meeting new people or rekindling with people that you knew but didn't know and then building new friendships and then like i don't know I feel like I'm in a very weird place where, like, I don't think I'm lonely, but at the same time, I am. The reason why I don't think I'm lonely is because I'm pretty satisfied with, not satisfied, I'm pretty content when I'm alone because that's when I do all my work and do fun activities like this. But at the same time, I also do know that I have friends. But at the same time, my friends are also always busy. And I'm also always busy. So, like, it's a bunch of busy losers together. <laughs> We're not losers, but you know what I mean. It's a bunch of busy losers together. And, like, I know they love me and I know they know I love them, but, like, we're all kind of living our separate lives. And I guess that's adulthood, if I'm being honest. But sometimes you wonder, is that how I'm going to live my life for the rest of my life? I guess at some point... I, see, I think I just... Honestly, the more I think about it, I think I choose to be alone. Because the amount of time, like, I... 
I just, I don't know. Is it like, is it like me running away from people or like from relationships or, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out because I'm thinking sometimes I can choose to not be busy, but I still stay busy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. This is like a therapy session. Ice cream gets in your feelings. Actually, yo, what am I, what am I on? What am I on? I am not lonely. What? I, in fact, lonely, I don't know her. What? Get a grip, Nova. I guess it's just the ice cream. Sometimes when you're, like, in a position where, like, you're listening to the wind, your people are watching, eating ice cream, you just feel like this is the perfect moment to be sad. But, like, there's no reason to be sad. Like, grow up. I'm actually quite happy. What am I on? <laughs>